Hi, my name is Daisy. You can probably tell I'm a basset hound. My story starts in California in a place called Merced. I can't tell you too much about my time there, other than someone found me as a stray and took me to the animal shelter. Last week, someone put me in a crate and loaded me into this funny van. I'm not exactly sure what end petlessness means, but it sounds good. The van was big, but there wasn't much room by the time they filled up the back. I understand there were 57 other dogs in the van with me. I had no idea where we were going, but it wasn't a bad ride. Pretty much all us dogs slept while we were on the road. Finally, we came to a big stop and people started opening the doors. It was dark, kind of cold, and there were a bunch of bright lights. Next thing I knew, I was being unloaded from the van and wheeled into a big room. Man, was it noisy. Every puppy, poodle, and pug was howling. OHS took something that's very simple, which is taking in animals and finding new homes for it, and we are trying to master that process. Um, our second chance transfer program is uh, definitely something that started back in 99, 2000. So it took us about two years of looking at the, the, the idea of bringing in animals from California where they're being euthanized left and right. They have an 11% adoption rate at the shelter that we work with, the Merced Shelter. So back in October, uh, with a volunteer, an Oregon Humane Society volunteer's help, we brought some dogs back from California and placed them for, for adoption. And to our surprise that as soon as they were made available, they were adopted in three days. And we're talking, you know, anywhere from 35 to 40, you know, smaller sized dogs, under 30 pounds. Here at OHS, one of the highest adoption rates in the country, uh, may be the highest, who knows. And it's a combination of factors. I think one is our community is really caring, big hearts, very compassionate community. And second, we really go the extra mile to make the whole experience of adopting a pet as, as wonderful and as joyful as possible. Right when you walk in the door to our shelter, you get this feeling that you're in a, a safe, warm, caring place. Uh, an architect who designed hotels actually designed our lobby. My name is Roberta Cobb and I've been a volunteer here at OHS since 1993 and I do animal communication. The day I talked to Daisy was the day after she came in and she was still pretty confused at that point. So I explained to her what was going on, that she had come here to find a new home. And so I always ask that, what, what kind of home do you want? What do you want in your home? And she said that um, she likes sleeping in sunny spots. And she likes exploring new paths and new areas to uh, go, you know, just sniff and, and stuff. Um, she wanted a relaxed but active family. Kids were fine, cats were okay, uh, loves chewing on bones, um, and would like another dog, that would be great. I am Dr. Christy Ellis and I am the lead veterinarian. My name is Casey Jacobs and I'm a fourth year veterinary student. Daisy's surgery went very well today. Um, Casey has uh, actually a little bit of ex surgery experience more than our average student, so she actually did pretty much most of the work. I was just uh, handing her instruments and helping her a little bit, but she did a great job. It was actually very routine and smooth and no complications at all. I um, show animals to people, people to animals, and try to make the uh, the match. I'm a matchmaker, if you will. It's easier to read the dog than the people. The people are very tough to read, and they're also predisposed to having a decision. 
they look on the website, they see a, a tiny little you know, thumbnail picture, and they say, oh, this is the dog for me. You have no idea. It's like Match.com. My first step is I just go in the room, I sit on the floor, and let the dog do what the dog's going to do. And then I start looking at what the dog's doing, what the people are doing. And it just starts from there. Does this thing fit? Does it not fit? What do we got? My name is Terry Best, and I live in Vancouver, Washington. Actually, I'm looking for a Bowson Hound and uh, went to their website. And we really wanted to get um, find a dog that needed a home rather than going through a breeder. Oh my gosh, look. Let's go see. Here we go. Boys are happy. Hey, girl. Look at those paws. Love it. There we go. There we go. Is it probably because they're both female? Yeah. Did somebody else put her on hold? Oh, yeah, like, she's got... She's got a waiting yeah, list? Yes, yeah. yes. Well, then I came just in the nick of time, I guess. <laughs> Three bassins. Oh, all yeah. under five. <laughs> yeah. I said it was a lot of basset in one place with a heavy emphasis on the ass. <laughs> My name is Katrina Johnson. I have been an adoption counselor for the Oregon Humane Society for about nine years. What we're adopting out are companions um, for the people in the household. I felt really comfortable with them as Daisy's new guardians. And they had great previous pet history with hounds. Hot diggity dog, I'm going home. placing anywhere from you know 150 animals in a weekend um, and still having room to bring in all of our community animals and larger animals from our local sister shelters. So if uh, this continues, it's going to be the best of both worlds. We're going to be able to stay at capacity and help the people in our community find animals. We're going to be able to help the people in our community place their animal when they no longer can, can house it. We are able to help our sister shelters with the animals that are friendly, outgoing, and very placeable. And we'll continue to help uh, California with their overwhelming um, overpopulation problem of small dogs.